Hey guys, it's Lightning Storm Productions. Today, I'm going to be showing you my massive armament collection. This took over an entire ping pong table and it took over a week to set up. I'll be showing you army by army a close look at my collection. If this video reaches a thousand views in a week, then I will take my time to count how many army men I have in total. So please drop a like, subscribe, and watch the entire video. I have my red army. It's a combination of a lot of these uh, advanced modern type of soldiers and a lot of these Battle of Alamo soldiers. So yeah, I have a solid amount of red soldiers. You'll be seeing them in the Color Wars 3 movie that will be coming out in a little bit. I have armies in plastic modern era soldiers. They're all painted. I used these guys in the Desert Wars movie a few months ago. Please check that out. I'll put the link in the description. I have US soldiers and Talibans. They're all painted pretty well. And I think I have about 24 of them. Here I have my World War II French army. I got two of these armies in plastic sets. They look pretty good. And then one of these tube sets that come out with less accurate soldiers but still look pretty good. So yeah, I have a good number of French World War II soldiers. Over here I have my World War II British soldiers. I have a lot of these generic ones that most people have. And then I have a lot of these tan BA ones that look pretty good. I have a few painted, like, not plastic ones. They are pretty good. They don't break. They look good. And, yeah, they're just pretty good overall. I have my U.S. Marines and D-Day troops. I have the Iwo Jima flag when they planted it, recreating the iconic photo. And then a lot of these really good, really accurate U.S. Marines. I got a lot of these from Toy Soldier Conventions and World War II shows and uh, Toy Soldier stores, which are very few of nowadays. So yeah, I, I have a lot of those. I use them in a lot of stop motions, and I'm going to be using them in a, lot, in a lot more. I have a lot of painted soldiers. They're the regular gray ones or dark green ones from like small sets but they were painted to look like World War II and they they're painted pretty well so they resemble World War II troops pretty well I guess and yeah I have a lot of those here I have army men from the Zulu Wars I have a lot of Zulu over here British over here some of them were painted some of them aren't but most of them are from armies in plastic, which is where I get most of my uh, war accurate type of army men. Over here we have some cowboys and Indians. Not too many though. I think I've only ever gotten one bag of them. So yeah. And then I have my American Revolution soldiers here. They were painted a long time ago, so the paint is really chipping off a lot. But they looked a lot better before. So I have a solid amount of those. Of course, you cannot have an army men collection without a generic bucket of soldiers from Toy Story. I have my bucket here. I have them all set up here. It's basically impossible not to have one of these. It's classic. It's basically perfect. Of World War II Germans. Some are big, some are small. They're all different scaled. Some of them are really small, like this one, and then some of them are pretty big, like this. So yeah, I have a pretty good amount of those. I have World War II Japanese. Basically, all of them are really small. They're the ones you usually get out of the regular World War II sets. 
very small. I don't have much big ones. But I do have a few from an Iwo Jima set, so that's good. I have a lot of uh, Armies in Plastic World War One Doughboys, but they were painted to resemble Philippine Scouts from World War Two. They look very well painted, and I have some cavalry of them. Here I have one set of police officers. Some of them have guns, some of them don't. Some of them just look like regular officers. And then over here, I have Napoleonic Cavalry. I have a lot of Dragoons and British Cavalry. And that is it for this side of the ping pong table. Side, I have my Tan Army. Pretty big, takes up almost half of one side of a ping pong table. There's a lot. Some of them are more pink than they are tan, to be honest. But, uh... I'll take it. And then over here, I have my massive green army. A lot bigger than my tan. That's outnumbering. And I have a stripe of gray down here. So yeah, a lot of these are cheap knockoffs. Some of them are actually pretty good. But it all varies. There's so many different types. My Star Wars Command Collection. If you've never heard of it, they were big in 2015, made by Hasbro. They're pretty accurate Star Wars army men. They look great. I managed to get all the sets before they got discontinued. So, yeah. I have all the Imperials, Rebels, Clones, and Droids. And they never came out with sequel sets, but I have all they came out with initially. And then over here, I have my Napoleonic soldiers. I have some painted British. They look pretty good. A lot of them are also from Armies in Plastic. And then I have a lot of French. Some of these aren't even French, they're just painted to look like it. But I do have a lot of actual French. Here to top off the actual army men, I have my American Civil War. Here is the cavalry. I have a good number of those. I have my Union, and then I have my Confederates. Most of them are the same thing. Basically all of them at Gettysburg are all this, and they're great. I don't blame stores for selling a bunch of them. They, they're amazing. And that is it for the army men. Now for vehicles. Here I have my tanks. Some of them are pretty good models, look really good, and then some of them are just, like, generic ones. I have some artillery. Yeah, so, like, the regular tan ones. I have those. I have World War II models. I have a lot. Here I have the green one, the green tank. A desert thing. And then a lot more tanks and artillery. And that is it for those. I have all my beach landing stuff. So I have two Amtrak, two Amtraks, and two Higgins boats down there. They're behind all of these. But I do have two Higgins boats, two, two Amtraks. So I'll be making a lot more beach landing stop motions in the coming months. Here I have the last of the collection. I have a lot of walls, barbed wire, and uh, sandbags in here. A lot more of the same in here. Some trees. So, yeah, basically everything to make a good setting. And, yeah, that's it. It's really hard to tell how much there are from the camera, but I'm trying my best to show you that there's a lot more than it looks like. Unless it looks like a lot already. But, yeah, there's just... So much. I don't think the camera can really capture how big it is. But yeah, thanks for watching. This is another view of the Massive Army Men collection. Don't forget, if this video gets a thousand views in a week, I will count how many there are total. So please like it, sub, share it, everything you can to get this thing to a thousand views. Because I am willing to put myself through the torture to count how many I have. So, yep, yeah, that's it. 
It's my army men collection. Comment down below if it's the biggest you've ever seen. If it's small or something. Uh, yeah, that's it.